Hello everyone. I picked this camera up at a thrift store a while ago. Uh, it's been sitting on my shelf and I decided I'd uh, work on it recently. So um, I picked it up. It was pretty cheap. I think like ten dollars. Uh, everybody is probably getting nervous that the sensor is being exposed. You'll just have to get over that because I don't have a um, lens cap or body cap for this. Anyways, so I um, it came with a lens, but the lens was uh, physically damaged, so I just threw it out. Didn't I did take it apart to look at what what was in there, but you know, modern lenses these days, there's not too much interesting there. Just the camera and the lens and the battery. The battery was actually included. But, as you can probably guess, whoops, battery was dead. Or so I thought. Um, so then I started figuring out, okay, how the heck am I going to charge this? I don't have a charger. I tried to charge by USB. It has a USB port here. But that's a no-go, and looking online, it does not support USB charging. This is an old camera. It's an Nikon 1J1. It was uh, manufactured... Ooh don't remember 2013 2011 something like that maybe older I don't remember it is a um, CX sized sensor so it's smaller than APS-C um, it's larger than your average point-and-shoot camera it's sort of in the middle it was an interchangeable body system that Nikon introduced the advantages being smaller body well smaller sensor smaller body smaller lenses Interchangeable lenses, great. The reality was that APS-C censored cameras kept getting smaller, and the actual camera I'm shooting with here um, is a uh, Sony um, 5100. It's basically the same size as this camera, and the lens that it came with, the the standard 10 to what was it, uh, 30 millimeter lens, I think, is roughly the same size as the lens on this APS-C camera. So the whole competitive advantage was lost and this was a failure the, the whole system was a failure but for 10 bucks pick it up tried to turn it on wouldn't turn on thought the battery was dead so i happen to have an old charger here that charges 7.4 volt lithium-ion batteries uh actually canon batteries uh whatever this is an off-brand um charger and all I did is I connected some wires to it, and on the other side, there's, you know, the other side of wires. I took the battery out of here, pushed the wires on, kept it on with some tape, and let it charge. And, surprise, surprise, it didn't charge for very long. It only charged for maybe, I don't know, an hour, which is not a bad dead battery. I then was smart enough to actually put a meter onto the terminals of this battery, and it showed full voltage 7 point whatever it was actually no it was above that it was like 8 volts or something anyways it doesn't matter point is battery was not dead but this thing was not turning on so I started looking online and very common failure actually a lot of people reported the same thing where the camera just stopped working and the battery was charged and it wouldn't turn on and everybody pointed to the power board having to be replaced now, okay, fine, go get a power board. I was looking at prices. They're pretty expensive, considering I spent $10 on this camera, which isn't worth much to begin with. But the pictures of the power board were interesting because, and if you look at those pictures, there's nothing on this board. It's just a bunch of passives. So there's some resistors, some capacitors, an LED. There's a couple transistors or something like that on there. Nothing really that should be failing. Um, at least not, you know, in my experience with electronics. There's nothing really here. And these people were saying, well, you place, replace the power board and it magically starts working. So, I figured the power board is so simple. Why don't I just fix it, right? <laughs> like, there's nothing on it. Who cares? I can just fix the power board. I don't need a new one. So, I opened this camera up. And what you can see here is the power board. There's not much to it, exactly as the pictures indicated. So I started probing the power board with the battery in and whatever, and what I noticed is right here, 
I was seeing, you know, right where the battery terminals are, I was seeing the 7.4-ish volts. But right above that, right beyond this little, tiny little thing, which looks like a resistor, I got nothing. What is this tiny little thing? Well, I don't have a schematic, but it's a fuse, right? That's a pretty normal thing to have. What this camera has is the ability right here, there's a little thing that comes out. Um, there's an adapter, an AC adapter for this camera, which is frankly just a little plastic box with a wire going into it from an AC adapter that takes the place of the battery, you put it into the battery slot and powers the camera. It's rated at 9 volts. So I figured, for safety reasons, they have a fuse on those battery terminals. And that fuse was blown. So, hope upon hope, replace that fuse, camera works. Now, I didn't have a little fuse, so what you're seeing here is something I don't recommend and something I've now rectified, and that is I just put a solder blob over the fuse terminals just to see if the camera worked. Uh, I did go and replace it with a proper fuse afterwards. I, well, I guessed. I just I don't even remember what value I put, but I put a fuse in later. But I put that solder blob on, uh, put the battery in, uh, the camera was t was apart, as you can see here. Press the power button. Boom. LED. Everything looks like it was working. Put the camera back together. Here's a very quick putting camera back together video. And here we are with the camera. So, uh, I can show you that if I turn it on, it turns on. Now, what are we seeing here? Uh, not much, because I don't have a lens. But... Um, I have, um, taken some, I have, like, just held one of my DSLR lenses in front of this thing, and I have taken some pictures with it, so, uh, it does work. Um, it, it, it's not fantastic quality, but it does work. So, um, my recommendation is if you're handy and you have a camera like this, it doesn't have to be this one, it could be any anything like this, and you have those symptoms where you put in a brand new battery or you give it AC power if that's an option and it doesn't work, open it up and have a look and see if you see something. If you see a skid mark, right, if you see uh, some blown component, that's a dead giveaway. In this case, there was no skid mark. All there was was, you know, basic troubleshooting. I just... I checked the, the supply coming in from the battery on the power board and then followed that supply and boom, <laughs> first component, it wasn't getting through. It could have been a resistor, I don't know, it wasn't marked, um, but just based on the way the layout is, I figured, you know what, this is probably, probably just a fuse. So that's how you repair the Nikon J1, most likely, if uh, it's not powering up with a fresh battery. Thanks for watching. Until next time.